So this chart is a safety report from the vehicle safety report on the Tesla website. So if you look at this, it's about probably half a million miles on average are driven before a car in the United States has an accident. This is when the autopilot takes over. This is roughly, what, 13 to 14 times less likely than a human to have an accident. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm here today with founder and chief editor, Bill Moore. How's it going today, Bill? Ah, uh, it's geht ganz gut, danke. Okay, so um, my, my next story, now this is actually from the Tesla website. So this chart is a safety report from the vehicle safety report on the Tesla website. This is miles driven per one accident. So this is the average amount of miles driven before an accident. Now, this data goes all the way back to 2018. These numbers start out at millions of miles driven before an accident occurs. Gray is the United States average. So if you look at this, it's about probably half a million miles on average are driven before a car in the United States has an accident. Which, which is interesting because I used to live, you know, like I said, I used to live in another city here in the United States and you used to kind of expect that eventually your vehicle would get totaled out. But here in Nebraska, people don't play bumper cars. <laughs> so here, a car actually, you can drive it till it just falls apart. So that that's a little bit different. But so this is the average car in the U.S. Now, this light blue here, which is about, looks like about 1.3, 1.4 million miles is... Tesla vehicles that do not have autopilot. So these are human-driven Teslas. On average, um, go about three times the distance driven. So you have about one-third the chance of having an accident. And one, this is one of the things they're considered to be, you know, Model Y is considered to be the safest car on the planet and it's the best-selling car on the planet. It's not just if it gets in an accident, it's super safe. It's very unlikely to get in an accident in it, period. And a lot of that is the, you know, things to let you know what's going on or try to prevent you from leaving your lane, things like that. Well, this dark blue, which goes out here to about 6.8 million miles, is with Tesla autopilot. This is when the autopilot takes over. This is roughly, what, 13 to 14 times less likely than a human to have an accident. And it was a little bit higher back in quarter one. So somebody must have had an accident. You, know, you can't imagine, you know, what that might be in. But it's interesting just to see, because this is going back for a few years. The numbers stay pretty much consistent. Even, you know, you had some years where the autopilot was doing less. One of the things is when you're driving on the autopilot, you're usually on the highway. So people don't usually have accidents on the highway anyway. So that number may be a bit in my opinion, is probably a bit skewed. Yeah. Because it's so much highway miles compared to city driving. Whereas the other numbers reflect being much more near your home. But the fact that it's still only one third the accident rate when you're in a city now, in some previous quarters, the disparity, you know, previous quarter wasn't as big of a disparity, it was still almost double the miles or triple the miles, triple the miles. Most of the time it's been triple. And at one point it was even more than that. I thought that was um, good information. Now, what's interesting as I go a little farther on this, it does the same thing, but vehicle fire data, miles driven before having a fire in a Tesla vehicle. Now, the number has been going up. Even if we take the worst year for gas cars, it stayed about the same, okay? So it's roughly for about every 17 to 18 million miles you drive, you should have your car catch on fire one time. Now, most people don't drive a million miles in their lifetime. So it's highly unlikely you'll ever have a car catch on fire. But this is in a gas car. Now, when we switch it over to a Tesla, it's per about every 135 million miles driven. <laughs> the, the odds of having one catch on fire. It's not impossible. It's just not very likely. Okay. And so now, mind you, this is Tesla. This is not Chevy. This is not the Nissan Leaf. Yeah, you wonder how, you know, obviously Mercedes, which actually Mercedes has probably gotten uh, approvals earlier for their, uh, their what would I want to call self-driving, I guess, for one of a better term, um, technology has actually, uh, I think they were approved uh, in China. And uh, there's been some tests, I think, here in the U.S. They got permission uh, that 
Tesla hadn't gotten yet. So there, and then there's Ford. Ford actually is advertising their, uh, you know, in their commercials, the people drive it along and they you know, pull their hands off the pickup truck steering wheel. And so, so there are other companies, you know, and of course, uh, General Motors with their cruise system, things like that. Um, do, are they keeping the same kind of, are they collecting and analyzing that same data or not? Or is Tesla the, the leader in, in, you know, gathering all this data and digesting it? They seem to be the leader in data collection. That's for sure. So they're feeding a lot of data to the insurance industry and other sources or, you know, and other customers. But I, I don't know. Otherwise, you know, I would imagine that everybody, every car company must be wanting to collect data. I mean, we all love analytics, right? Well, not everybody, <laughs> but some of us love analytics, you know, and it, it's cool to see when it's available. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.